All right, sad news for local sports here in Hampton Roads over the weekend. Tony Mercurio passed away. He was the voice that so many turned to to talk about teams and sports that matter to them on the radio. Brian Parsons has more on his impact that won't soon be forgotten. Welcome to the Tony Mercurio Show today on a Thursday. For 26 years, Tony Mercurio, the blast man, was a fixture on the radio waves of Hampton Roads. The self-described most eligible bachelor in Hampton Roads, Mercurio brought sports talk radio to the area before it became a nationwide trend. He envisioned 24-hour sports and people thought he was crazy. He was the godfather of local sports in so many ways. He picked up on that quick. Scott Jackson now occupies the time slot Mercurio used to own. He got his start in the radio business in the early 90s, working for Mercurio. People would say whether you loved him or hated him, you were listening to him. So that was the great thing about Tony, you know. They say things like that about Howard Stern back in the day, you know. You, you knew who he was, you knew what he was saying. And even if you didn't agree with him, people, like, you're right, they couldn't turn the channel because they wanted to hear what he'd say next to make them mad or that they would agree with or they'd laugh at. The crowd is ready, the band is coming on, and we expect a fiddler diddler. Never afraid to push buttons. The Mercurial Mercurio loved ruffling feathers. He, he wanted you to think that he was at odds with everybody. Like, he, he was at war with everyone, right? You might say he was kind of full of hot air. Um, it was a lot of, I think, an act, because off the air and in person, super nice guy. He would do anything for you. Uh, but he could also blast you pretty good, too. <laughs> if he was in the mood, he could get you. And uh, we welcome everyone to what should be a very exciting show today and a chance for you to win cash. Tony also spent time covering high school sports and was at times the voice of the Tides and the ODU women's basketball team. Promoted women's sports, frankly, long before people were promoting women's sports, women ba women's basketball in particular. He loved women's basketball and the ODU program. We probably have more listeners than ever before today. It was his bombastic style that a lot of people will always remember for better or worse. A pioneer in the local sports community, Tony Mercurio was truly one of a kind. Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.